hyphenation students. Today for writing, we are going to be talking about vowels, just like you did with Mrs. Taylor. She would have shown you this anchor chart that has the five vowels up the top, A, E, I, O, and U, and also the short sounds the vowel says and the long sounds that the vowels can say. So today, by the end of this lesson, you will have created a little bit of an anchor chart in your scrapbook to help you remember those sounds. Watch me as I show you how. So today for your task, you're going to be creating a vowel chart for yourself in your scrapbook to help us remember the different sounds that vowels make. So when we're writing and we're counting those sounds in our phoneme fists and all that stuff, you will remember what they say. So what you will do is you're going to write the vowels A, E, I, we'll probably put that one there, O, and U, and then draw a picture to match. So you can choose either the short sound or the long sound, or you can actually do both. I'll start with just the short sounds, and I'll only do a couple. A is A, like in apple, and remember to use the anchor chart to help you at like in apple. And I'll do oh, maybe brown. E like in egg. So I've chosen two of the short sounds to do for A and E, but I might choose the long sound for I because you know why? I love ice cream so much. Ice cream. I like vanilla ice cream actually in a waffle cone. That's what I like. Ice cream. I like in ice cream for the long I sound. So your job is going to be to write the vowels in your book, draw a picture to match either the long or the short sound, or you can do both. And then we'll be able to use this to help us as we do further writing. Good luck.